Marco here from Fair Realty. Huge news today from the BC government. Probably the biggest legislation pertaining to housing in my 13 year career. Uh, there is legislation coming forward, new laws that are going to prevent strata corporations from restricting rentals. And also they're gonna prevent age restrictions, excluding 55 plus uh, buildings, basically senior buildings. So what does that mean? It means if buildings currently have a no rental restriction, that will be gone. Now those units are going to be uh, units in the building. You're going to be able to rent them. Also, if a building has a 16 plus 19 plus 30 plus 40 plus age restrictions, those are some of the examples of age restrictions in Victoria. Those are now going to be gone. You can no longer uh, discriminate against uh, children. I want to say I personally, I am in favor of these uh, new laws coming into effect. However, there's going to be a lot of friction pertaining to these new laws, especially in uh, smaller buildings, uh, more established neighborhoods. For example, a lot of the buildings, I shouldn't say a lot, the majority of the buildings in Oak Bay, for example, either restrict rentals or they restrict children or they restrict both. You also have areas like Cook Street Village where a lot of buildings have no rentals allowed, no children allowed. So just think about it. Someone lives in a condo somewhere in Oak Bay. Let's say it's Beach Drive. They've been there for 30, 40 years. Everyone in that small building has been an owner occupier because there's no rentals allowed. And there have been no children because there's a 19 plus age restriction. Come this spring, an investor can walk into that building buy a unit and that investor, he or she can then subsequently rent that unit to a family with a toddler. For example, these are older buildings. These buildings are 30, 40, 50 years old. What do you think the acoustics are like? Very, very poor. So in my opinion, this new legislation, it's gonna create for a lot of friction in buildings. If you've been living there for 35, 40 years and all of a sudden there's a family with a toddler above you, and there's poor acoustic mitigation, you're not gonna be uh, very happy. There's gonna be a lot of other impacts from this legislation too. I don't think the government's really thought about. For example, I've sold hundreds of condos. I live in a condo. I have a number of condos I rent out that I keep as investments. I absolutely love that segment of the market and I've studied it for the last 13 years. Uh, I've invested in it. I live in it. Condos that have restrictions, such as rental restrictions, age restrictions, pet restrictions, barbecue restrictions, their price is always suppressed. The more restrictions you have, the more suppressed the price is. The two uh, restrictions affecting the price the most, in my opinion, has always been the no rentals and the age restrictions. Well, now those are gone. So what's gonna happen? is a lot of buildings are gonna see an upswing in price. For example, uh, there is a building right now, a condo listing in a building close to the Jubilee Hospital that has a 25 plus age restriction and it doesn't allow rentals. It was built in the 1990s, it's remediated. This building has always sold at a discount compared to the similar 1990 buildings on the same street that don't have those restrictions. So what's gonna happen when those restrictions are removed, there's no more minimum age, there's no more no rental restriction, it opens up the marketplace to a lot of other people, investors, or for example, uh, well-to-do parents buying for their university, children going to UVic, and then afterwards maybe they rent out the condo, et cetera. So this increases the price and actually makes that building less affordable to those people that did not care about having children in the unit and that just wanted to live there. They had no intentions of renting it out. It makes it more expensive for those people. So I don't know if this has been super well uh, thought through. I am in support, but it's gonna be very, very interesting uh, on the ground. I, I can tell you there's gonna be a lot of friction uh, in particular buildings, especially smaller buildings, when you get investors buying into these buildings and then renting out to families. I personally think families need a place to live, but it's gonna, it's gonna take some use to 
uh, getting used to, especially for people that have been in these uh, no children, no rental buildings for a very, very long time. That's it for this week. Marco Jurassic, Fair Realty.